We're going to stay in Bossier City and go to Word of God Ministries with Jasmine Franklin. How's it going over there? Hey Stephen, it's pretty exciting here. We have made some progress as far as these donations go here at the Word of God Ministries in Bossier City. People have been dropping off different canned goods and non-perishable food items, including some members of this church. Right now I'm actually joined by the pastor of this church, Aaron Rios. Aaron, how exciting is this? This is a longtime partnership with KSLA and our food drive. How important is it to give back? Yes, ma'am, uh, I'd say it's very important. Um, uh, our vision here at Word of God Ministries is to, to preach Jesus as the manifested Word of God. And the mission is to reach more people in more places and in more ways than ever before. And so I'm reminded of what Matthew 25 says when Jesus says, uh, I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty and you gave me to drink. I was naked and you, and you clothed me. Just to mention a few, right? And so Jesus was saying, he, he ends that chapter saying, as you've done it to the least of these, you've done it unto me as well. And so whenever we do things like this, we not only give to the needy, but we're also doing it as unto the Lord. So. Yes. We know how impactful this is for the Word of God Ministries in the Bossier City location as well as Shreveport. One person who stopped by earlier today said that she received these food drive donations a few holidays ago and then she came back today to pay it forward and donate as well. So thank you, uh, Aaron, there. So we're going to be at the Shreveport location coming up a little bit later on tonight. But you can stop by here and donate. You can see Aaron and myself here. We need some more donations. This box is still a little empty, and we have several boxes behind us that we still need to fill up. So come by and see us. We'll be here for the rest of the day accepting donations of non-perishable food items. For now, I'm reporting live in Bossier City. Jasmine Franklin, KSLA News 12.